Hi guys, it's Dale here from Elephant Memories, and thanks for joining me today. I'm currently working on a series of layered resin paintings in some old teacups that I found. Uh, this is a super fun project that I've been working on in my spare time. In today's video, I'm going to be painting some orca whales in layers to create a 3D look. I'm going to be adding some teeny tiny little wooden cutout dorsal fins for a little above the water action. I'll have a list of supplies in the description below. If you find this video helpful, please give us a thumbs up and don't forget to leave a comment. So let's get started, shall we? I saw some single vintage teacups at a thrift shop and thought it might be fun to try and paint something inside of them. I'm going to start with a base coat of clear resin. You could add some sand, but I'm going for a translucent look. I will be letting each layer dry for 24 hours before the next painted layer. I like to have a reference to help me with proportions and placement. I cut mine on my laser out of wood, but you could print it and cut it out of paper or just freehand it. The first painted layer is just the pectoral fins and the tail fluke. Once I have traced these with my black acrylic paint, I can then go back and clean it up with a wet brush. This acts like an eraser of sorts. You will see me do this often throughout this video. Once you are happy with the shape and placement, just fill in and let dry. You may need several coats of paint on the resin for a nice solid black. same for the cap. This one is so tiny that I'm using a magnifying glass to be able to see the tiny details. first layer is complete, so it's time for the second resin layer. We are now in the ugly duckling phase. This batch of resin ended up having a lot of bubbles. My studio was a little cold, so many of the bubbles remain. I actually think it gives it a little more depth. Again, I'm just using the cutout as a reference. Start by creating an outline then fill it in. Marine mammals tend to be very streamlined, so they're more efficient in the water. Most whales have a very basic torpedo shape. Once the paint is down, I just use the wet brush on the edges to clean the lines up a bit.
Do the same for the cap. If you pick up the cup and move it around, you'll start to see the three-dimensional shape form. I just let the black paint dry before adding the white details. Don't worry if it's not perfect. I do want the head patches to be somewhat symmetrical and we'll go back with black paint to achieve this. Now for the saddleback patch, which is located behind the dorsal fin. Calf was probably the hardest part for me as it's so tiny, but it was easy enough to keep adding either black or repainting the white until I was finally happy.
I added a spot of CA glue to the bottom of the mom's dorsal. This is just to help keep the wood from floating in the resin. I couldn't find my tweezers, so I just made do with pliers to put them in place. When they were secured in place, I painted them black. I added a thin layer of clear resin to set the dorsals well in place. I made sure that some resin dripped over the dorsals because I do use a few blasts of the propane torch to pop the bubbles. I let this dry again for 24 hours before the last layer. So now I'm pouring a faintly tinted resin. I added some acrylic ink using a toothpick it's actually less than one drop for 50 grams of resin. This will create a highly translucent resin, so my painting will really show through. Finally, I mixed eye candy Satori white paste with about five grams of resin. Using a silicone brush, I'm adding a few random lines to create some gentle movement in the water. To gently blow the white and soften the edge, I'm using a handmade glass straw from Lucas Land Glass at Western Ave Studios. And that's it. And here's the final results. Oh my, this is so stinking cute. I hope you learned a little from this video and it inspires you to give it a try. Use the hashtag one elephant memories to post on Instagram so I can see what you've created. I can't wait to see what you've all done with this. Be sure to subscribe so you'll know when the next in the teacup series comes out. Don't forget to ask questions in the comments below and give us a thumbs up. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.